Oh, it's working. Fantastic. This, I'm, I'm Candy and this is Alina. Alina. We're from the uh, head office at Fruity and we're going to make a green smoothie this morning. So um, it's Active Wear Friday today. Woo! Alright, so we've got the Optimum G 2.1 here. And we're going to make a green smoothie. We've got coconut water, ooh, coconut water, um, some kale and spinach, some blueberries, cucumber, and some frozen bananas. So if you're making a green smoothie and you're batching it, say you're doing it on, on the weekend so that you have green smoothies for the week, it's a good idea to freeze it. Um, bananas and all that works really well and also um, when you're blending it, the blender is fine. It can deal with um, frozen goods. So, shall we start? Let's go. This is exciting. I'm so hungry. It's going to be yum. Just chuck it in. All in. So, um, if you don't know about the G2.1, it's our most powerful machine. It's really good. It's um, it has set six preset functions, so it can do, you know, let's have a look here. Fruit, uh, sorbet, it can grind, um, you know, making flowers and things, nut milk, soups and sauces. It's going to be delicious. What kind of coconut water are you using? The Miko Meko? 100% coconut water. Yum. So we love Fridays at the Fruit of the Office because we, we get to dress casual and we get to have delicious smoothies. Okay, I'm excited. And let's go. So it's a really good idea if you're starting out to make a green smoothie um, to use a recipe because it does get a little bit, um, like it gets a little bit, you know, you need to get used to the quantities and things like that. But for us, we just chuck it all in and see how, how it turns out. All right. All right. Are you ready? So, wait, wait. So we're using the sorbet setting, which goes for 90 seconds. The reason we do this is because... Um, uh, we've got the frozen bananas. Usually, I mean, I don't really mind having frozen cucumbers and spinach and all that. I usually have it all frozen so that, you know, when I drive to work, my smoothie is still nice and cold and delicious. Um, but yeah, usually you can use a fruit setting if you're making regular green smoothies. So let's go. 90 seconds. Go, go, go. And we're starting. Yeah, that's, that's enough. It's a really powerful machine, so you don't really need all the 90 seconds. That's just the preset timer for, for the um, sorbet function. But um, you can do it for much longer if you wanted to. Do you have cups there? Yep. Well, this is our smoothie. Gonna try. We're going to have our um, breakfast now, so we hope you enjoyed our first live stream from the Fruity Head office in beautiful Melbourne. Have a great weekend, everyone. Thanks, guys. Bye. Bye.